What's good with y'all, man? It's Max 49 Today, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make melodies like Wheezy, dark, experimental, unique artists such as like Future. Since Wheezy and Future has a collab tape coming out rumored, we just got to get it confirmed by Mr. Pluto himself. Let me try to make a melody, show y'all how to make some dark, experimental beats. This sample is not from scratch. Listen, I know. Y'all want to see it from scratch. I understand. But my bro Cloud sent this sent this starter. I had to flip it. It sounds so hard. It sounds like a Wheezy beat, but I got y'all with the drums at the end so stick around for that and the flp gonna be in the description i put the flp in all my tutorials from now on i got y'all I already had to use that. I reversed it and pitched it up 300 cents and I put the stretch on and now it's at 151 BPM. Now y'all can't tell me that doesn't sound more dark and sinister like Future would slide on that. Alright, so let's get to my part since Cloud kind of carried this whole thing. Uh, I used a key from Analog Lab. Let me, you know, recreate this. Alright, so we're in D sharp minor and this is all you gotta do is just add on to it. Always make sure you're in the white notes. All you really got to do is keep it simple because simple is better and don't overthink it. Just add the notes that you think will sound good in it and that will sound good. No out of key notes, of course. Like I said, keep it simple and make it hard. Pause. No. This key is called the AE Untitled Key. It's from Pro by HZE, Lost Elements Analog Lab Bank. And he has some really dope analog lab banks. One thing I recommend is get the HZE Analog Lab Bank. Support the man, he's cold. So for that key, I just added Nightmares preset off a of portal, which is Pilgrim's Portal Bank that just dropped. Turn that knob down to like 35%. It gave it a kind of little reverse pad feel. I also added some Fruity Reverb to give it some more space. Turn that wet knob up, turn the size all the way up. And I also merged it a little bit too, about 14%. I added this key from Stephen Schaefer's Ember one shot kit. That plays about every two bars. And this is the splash preset from Stephen Schaefer's Asteroid Portal Bank. And all I really did to that was uh, separate it 48% and then um, pitched it up a little bit. And yeah, that's all I really did for this sample. Uh, lastly, for the master chain, I added the H910 dual harmonizer. Y'all probably wondering what this is. It's a plugin from Eventide Clockworks. And it's kind of like a vintage Q-Beats type of plugin. It's really just a harmonizer. I just pitched it down to where it's like 0.80%. Let me let y'all hear what it is without the harmonizer. Nah, you know what I'm saying? That sounds too bright. That sounds too dull. You know, we wanted something that was very vintage, you know, experimental, wheezy-like. I added this H910 harmonizer, pitched it down to where it's 0.80%. And if you really listen, it kind of gives it a vinyl feel. You can hear the dropouts in the back and it just gives it a different type of feel, you know what I'm saying? Something about it changes the whole texture up for the sample. And yeah, that's some sauce. I hope it makes up for the lack of my part. But I'm gonna get to the drums. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all already heard in the preview, but it was too hard. I had to play it again for y'all. And yeah, my camera just died. But let's get straight into it. Most of these sounds that I did use, guys, is from my official drum kit volume two, my favorite drum kit so far. It's gonna be the link in the description to all my kits and that kit in there. So go cop. This is the Wheezy five times clap I added. Generic eight bar clap pattern. I added this hi-hat. If 
you want to have some more bounce man have some room have some space in between them just like this space right there space right there and just a roll right over there just make it different too just like over here i did this little i don't know what this is like a weird little roll but just to add some more variety and unique like wheezy does uh experiment with your hi-hats especially because it if you don't have good hi-hat patterns bro it's not gonna it's not gonna make your beat bouncy bro i added this rex luger snare that plays throughout the whole beat i added this rattled 808 for my official drum kit volume two For this 808, I added some fruity parametric EQ, and I also messed with these shelves over here, turned this high end up, high shelf up, and turned this low shelf down a little bit. Also, another tip for the 808, if you really want to make it punch, try turning the low shelf down just a little bit. Trust me, trust me. It's going to make your beats, I mean, it's going to make your 808, like, punch through. Next, I added this open hat. Pretty different open hat pattern. Then I added these perks. Just a few accents to play around with the background. And then I added the second snare, the go-to snare. That plays with the Rex Luger snare and gives us some more bounce in the beat. And lastly, I added the infamous Wheezy Vox. You know, I had to add it. And for the last part of this video, man, I'm gonna show y'all my master. I haven't shown y'all my master yet in the video, so I might as well just do it now. I got the fruity parametric EQ right here. Another fruity parametric EQ too. Just turn this knob up right here. Another fruity parametric EQ. Turn this high shelf up, turn this low shelf up, and this middle frequencies up a little bit. The soft clipper got the threshold of 22.2 and got the post gain to 80%. And lastly, some fruity reverb. You're probably wondering, what is the fruity reverb going on, man? What do you, what you got in the master? You gotta turn the wet knob down the dry knob all the way up that low cut all the way up and every other setting just copy that and trust me it's gonna make your beat sound loud i know this was a short little simple tutorial bro but trust me trust me next time i'm gonna come more prepared but i really did hope y'all learned something especially with the drums and the secret effect sauce which isn't even a secret i hope y'all learned something though man just you know use that h910 harmonizer you know these drums you know use the master but yeah i really appreciate y'all for tuning in bro all my kits are gonna be in the description such as my socials like the video subscribe share really helps me out and follow my bro at prod noble so we can drop this one shot kit man because once he hits 2k we dropping this one shot kit for y'all y'all gonna be like oh it's back to the one shot kit go go crazy go crazy go follow him get him to 2k and yeah that's all i gotta say that's all i got for y'all man i'll see y'all next week more free kits on the way i'll talk to y'all soon peace